Hi, welcome to lesson number 15. Today's lesson is pretty fun. We've actually got some really great songs today. Um, a little pumpkin boogie, which is a good one. And we're going to learn about eighth rests and how to draw those and how to count those. So um, hopefully this last week you got all your practicing done, got all your songs passed off, and you're ready to start today. So for today, we're starting again in our theory book, page 30 and 31, and we're going to talk about the eighth rest. So this is how we draw it. So you're going to have a dot here, and then you're going to go up kind of like a seven and back down. Okay, so a dot kind of a curve up and then back down. So it's kind of a, just a curvy little seven, right? So if you notice down here, there's this pretty curved dot, pretty curved, and then diagonally down, not straight down, but a little bit diagonal, just like a seven. So you get to go ahead and practice drawing those there. Now, it says circle the beats for each example. One, two, three, four. So here's my beat. One, two, three, four. Okay, then it says tap and count. One and two and three and four and with your teacher. Okay, so my, my rest, I'm just lifted up. Okay, so if we were to tap this, I'm just going to tap it here. One and two and three and four and, okay? So when I have my rest, I want your finger up or your hand up. And when you have your, like a quarter note, you have to hold it down, okay? So let's do that again and we're going to continue on. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Does that make sense? Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and write in the counts underneath these ones and go ahead and circle the beats. Okay, the one, two, three, four, whatever equals those beats. We're working with three, four timing here, so one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and okay all right so looking down below copy each time signature and rhythm pattern you're just going to copy those directly over here write two measures of your own rhythm use at least two eighth rests okay so go ahead and write that in here you get to make up your own that looks somewhat like those ones. And continuing on, all kinds of rests. Copy each rest, then connect it to its correct name. So you're gonna draw them here and copy them and connect them over here to who is who. Hopefully you remember who's who. Um, just a little clue. Uh, hole rest looks like a guy going in, like if a guy was walking on this line, he'd fall into this hole. A half rest is more like a hat up above the line. And then you guys, you can figure out the rest. Um, notice each time signature, draw only one rest to complete each measure. So you have to figure out which rest would complete this measure. Okay, how many beats does it still need? And you're gonna do that in each of these measures. Okay, and I'm gonna play you a couple little examples here. So this is ear training. Okay, you're just listening. And you're going to circle what you hear, whether it's this one or this one. So if you notice, it's going to be a very subtle difference. Okay, so I want you to listen. Um, and I'm going to count out loud as I play the one that I'm playing. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's do A. Not A, let's do one. You don't know if I'm going to do A or B. Here we go. One and two and three and four and... Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time and see if you can decide which one it is. One and two and three and four and... Okay, that was B. All right, here we are on number two. Okay, here we go. One and two and three and one and two and three Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I've had to video this a couple times now because I keep messing up. Okay, here we go. One and two and three and one and two and three and. Okay, that one would be A. And here's the last one. Just use your ears, make sure you're using your ears. One and two and three. 
and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, I'll do it one more time for you. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, all right, that was A again. Okay, that's it for your theory book. So let's go on to our technique book. Um, we're on technique page 26 through 27. So looking at this, we have a bunch of rests. One rest, three, so one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. Okay, so you've got this timing that's a little bit tricky. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. So this is tied. And three, four. You don't play this again. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. Okay. And it does it again and again. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go team. So this is, this is actually pretty fun. Um, yeah. And it gives you this little kind of game thing that you can do at the bottom. You can transpose it. You can play it an octave higher. And you can give yourself some points playing the key of C with the right hand in the highest C and the left hand in the lowest C. So you can change it around just a little bit if you want to. So let me give you an example of what this should look like. So I'm here on my G's, low G, G above middle C. So the counting is what's tricky about this. So we're just going to count it out loud. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go, team. Okay. Now, the, there is a little tricky part, too. You're going to have to slide your finger up. C with the forefinger, C sharp with the forefinger also. Okay. And then you can do all this little extra stuff. And we also have another song in here, Etude and C. This is kind of a pretty little song. But here again, we're splitting it up into eighth notes. So one and two and three and four and, okay, one and two and three and four and all the way through and it builds louder and then gets softer, okay? So, not too much else in there. There is a teacher duet, so let's do this. Okay, here we go. The teacher duet. I'll give you that example really quick. It's four beats and begin. One, two, ready, go. So, a little bit faster than maybe you expected, but um, you can do it. Okay, that's it for our technique book. Here we have our fun little pumpkin boogie, okay? This song, you're gonna watch for your um, flats, okay? You're, you're kind of here in your C, B flat, A flat, G, okay? And your left hand does that a lot. And your left hand is also going to have dun 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 Da, da, and you're gonna have an E flat here. So you're doing some little scale work here where you have your four finger crossing over. Three, two, one. Dun, da, da, dun. And you gotta watch your timing. One, two, and three, four. Okay. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Here's a little chromatic scale where you're going 
B, B flat, A, A flat, and you're using your three finger to cross over and under, or over, um, and your thumb comes back under. One, two, and three, four, okay? So, and then your top hand has some um, flats too. You've got the E flat here on the top, almost all the way through, bum, 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 bum. And then down here at the bottom, it's gonna get higher, okay? Here it goes one octave higher, and then it goes the other octave higher here, okay? And a low C at the end, double low C, it's got a octave lower, okay? All right, here's an example of this one. This is a pretty fun song. Don't start out too fast, okay? One, two, three. So that's, um, this part is a little tricky timing. So let's do that together for just a second. Let's do from here, just the top hand to here. Okay, so start with me on your C. Go one, two, three, four, one, two, sorry. One and two and three, four. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, one and two and three. Okay, so one more time. Starting here, do this just top with me. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. Okay, so that's the timing there. That's the trickiest part of that song is to get the timing. And last thing in our books today is these fun bagpipe songs. So the first song is kind of a just an old piece, okay? Um, pretty straightforward timing, but then they turn it into kind of a rockin' bagpipes. And you've got this timing here that's one, two, and three, four. So say that with me. One, two, and three, four. So the hold, one, two, and hold, four. Okay, so you're not gonna play that B again. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and hold, four. One, two, and three, four. Okay, so it's got that all the way through that song. Um, The first one, your bottom hand is easy peasy. You've got just a kind of a G, G chord at the bottom and your right hand is moving. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. Okay, and watch for those couple staccatos in there. Um, you're going to repeat this and then repeat that. First time is loud, second time is soft. Okay, I'm gonna give you the example of both of these. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, I forgot to do quiet on the second repeat on the first one, so hopefully you do that. Um, and here comes the rockin' one. 
So same hand positioning. Your left hand is going to end up going down to the F on parts of it. So just watch for that. Okay. The time is the trickiest. So let's let's talk it out. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. is pretty fun. Um, it's a great little song. And for our extra work today, we're just doing our chords. So um, let's go ahead and we're starting with our F chord. We're building off of what we've learned before. So we're doing F, B flat, E flat, and A flat. Okay, so here I have my F. That we know pretty well. Okay, we're going to build up. There's my B flat. E flat it's from last go round. Do it one more time. And then our new one is the A flat that goes with our scale. So A flat is gonna have black key, white key, black key for the first. Okay, A flat, C, E flat. Okay, then I'm gonna move up half a step with my middle finger, a whole step with my top finger, back to the original, and then the seventh chord is going to be these two flats and G. So let's do it one more time. And one more time just because. As you're practicing, I want you to go through all of them. Review these first. Whoops. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, again, my left hand's not working. Um, e flat. And then A flat. Okay, so as you practice, do all of them. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. I hope that you get it all practiced up and ready to go and pass it off to somebody, and then we'll see you next week.